You've probably heard that hotels on the Tour de France can be pretty rough. I don't think this place looks too bad though. We were here to catch up with a few of the teams and we happened to see Cal Crutchlow, MotoGP star, fresh off the flight from Argentina to catch up with his mate Mark Cavendish. Thanks for joining us. Is it your first Tour de France? Yeah, it's the first time to, to come to the Tour. Um, I've managed to go to the Giro over, over some time and uh, but yeah, first time here at the Tour and it's great to be here, you know, it's a fantastic event and something I've always wanted to come and see. And you're here to support Cav? Yeah, I've came to see Cav, um, simply because, you know, we're friends back in the Isle of Man and he comes to the MotoGP whenever he can and, and I try and get to some bike races as well, so um, yeah, first time at the Tour but excited to be here. Cool. How many stages are you out for? Uh, only tomorrow's stage. I've got a, got a race in Germany this weekend and I came back from Argentina last night, so cramming it in if I can. Excellent. And cycling plays a big part in your training? Yeah, training as well as, you know, passion and enjoyment sort of thing. But yeah, we, you know, I probably do as much as m most of the pros, probably too much for, for racing a MotoGP bike. I'm not really interested in going to the gym or stuff like that, just interested in cycling. Of course. Road or mountain bike or both? Only road. Hate mountain bike. Got no interest. <laughs> <laughs> do you fancy having to go down some of the descents in the Alps then? Yeah, I, you know, if I could get up them, you know, <laughs> I'd get a car to the top and maybe descend down, but um, no, I could probably get up them, which might take me a, a little while. Um, but no, yeah, the descents look pretty cool, but some of these boys can definitely descend. I guess you'd be pretty quick down them though. I don't know, I'm be definitely better down, going down than up, I can tell you that. How do you compare with Mark when you go out training with him? What, on the descent? No, just on, on the bike. No, well, you know, we. whenever Mark's training, he's only training, you know, it's not racing. So um, I've done a fair bit of racing as such, but not at a decent level. So, um, but yeah, I can ride. Def I, I can definitely ride and ride quite well, but the problem is I have too much of time off the bike traveling to race a MotoGP bike. I always say MotoGP is getting in the way of my cycling career. <laughs> <laughs> just thought I'd, I'd have a look around the grounds and see if I could fit four hours in on it. Um, but. No, I haven't managed to ride up. Uh, I flew, literally flew back in from Argentina yesterday and then came, came to the, here to the rest day and then to watch tomorrow's stage and I go straight to Germany for the next Grand Prix, then to Laguna for the next Grand Prix. So, and then I'll have a month in, uh, in America cycling for the whole month and then we have three races back to back again. So by the end of that month of cycling, I'll be all right and then I'll lose it all again for three weeks racing MotoGP. It was a shame he didn't get the yellow at the start because I think it was a given he wanted to get it and there was no reason why he shouldn't have got it but just got caught up in the crash but yeah, Cav's Cav, he'll always, you know, he's always more determined than the rest and always, you know, willing to willing to win more I think. I obviously started with a bit of bronchitis at the start of the, the tour and he was not very happy about that but I'm sure, uh, I'm sure he's fine now and I'm sure he was glad to get yesterday's stage out of the way as well. So you get a great, great balance of power engagement, whether you're in the hoods or in the drops. It's independent reach adjust, so you're, you, you can reach adjust your uh, shifter lever and your brake lever. 